vodka on the rocks, please? Oh, sorry, sir. The bar's not open yet. Why don't you have any vodka? Ten bottles. Do you have ice? Of course, several bags full. But the Quartermain said not to serve anyone until the party starts. I'm Dr. Alan Quartermain, and if you want to keep wearing that bow tie, I'd advise you to get me a drink. Right away, sir. What? Monica! Oh, my, 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 don't you look smashing? Thank you. Why aren't you dressed? The guests will be arriving any time now. Do you mean the audience, Alan? But of course. This is ridiculous. This is like a three-act mystery play. With all the Quartermain family, a stage center, and all the audience sitting right in, right in their seats and looking at each other thinking, who done it? Well, the storm is getting worse. How fitting. Monica, this is serious. Then I shall wear my very best funeral veil. I mean, for the burial. I wonder who is going to dig the grave. Is it going to be Mr. Scorpio, Mr. Tolliver, or Mr. Hope? What we're worrying about isn't going to help, though, is it? I'm not. I'm not at all worried about it, because I'm clear. Hey, excuse me, but this bouquet goes here. Put it somewhere else. I'm sorry, but Mrs. Quartermain insisted it go here. Oh, come over here. Alan, this whole thing is preposterous. We have been sucked into giving a party for Jimmy Lee Holt so he can publicly humiliate us. Look. He promised his silence in exchange for the party. Do you think that that's all he wants? I hope so. Now go and get dressed. Oh. Excuse me, folks. Where, go right Where are you going? To go and get dressed. And don't you worry. I shall wear something very appropriate for an ex-murder suspect. <clears throat> well, I see you're wasting no time. Just something to relax me, that's all. You join me? Why not? My usual word. What's that? Uh, brandy, three fingers. Yes, sir. Grant, something for you? No, thanks. I have to pick up Celia at the airport. I just checked. She got into LaGuardia a little late. The shuttle won't be in for an hour. Yeah, that's wonderful. Isn't it fortunate that uh, she's arriving in time for the party? Yes, yes. A perfect place to introduce her around. A vicious young woman, I understand. Oh, you've got that right. <laughs> it's everything I can do just to keep up with her. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Dr. Putnam, there was just a call for you from the hospital. Uh, an emergency. I wrote down the message. Thank you, Stone. Mrs. Morris. That means OR. Oh, you have to go? I'm afraid so. What about Celia? I guess she'll have to take a cab. Oh, nonsense. I can uh, send the limo around to pick her up. I'd sure appreciate it. Consider it done. Right. You will join us as soon as you're finished. I'll rush right back. Please give Celia my best. Yes, we will. Your brain is perfect timing. You don't suppose we could arrange for the limo to have a flat tire, do you? Well, I put off the inevitable. Cousin Herbert's granddaughter is coming. We just have to face it. Celia, Jimmy Lee, Scorpio. This has got to be a memorable evening. All we can do now is pray for a good, healthy case of amnesia. Uh, the piano, it's in the den. Thank you. Now, where were we? Scotty Baldwin. I'm telling you, as long as he's under arrest, you're safe. How did you arrive at that solution? Because you're going to look at Scorpio's running all over town arresting oh. people. He has Scotty. He had Monica and Heather. He's going to think several times before he jumps again. For my sake, I certainly hope you're right. Now, Harry, I want a fly arrangement on every table in the den. You understand? Yes, ma'am. We'll take care of it. Uh, may you push me over here? Oh, don't you two look handsome. We look like paupers next to you. It's a lovely dress, Mother. Thank you, darling. I've only worn it once before at a party in Miami. And, you know, the funny thing is, I cannot for the light of me remember the name of the designer. Well, you'll probably find him in Leavenworth. i got to look at the bill. Highway robbery. Oh, hush now, dear. We have a party to take care of. Um, Maggie, dear, see about the florist, will you, please? Oh, I do hope this party's going to be a success. I think the most we can hope for is just to get through it. And the other thing is we've got Try to remain as cordial as possible to all the guests. A couple of more drinks. I'm going to be so cordial, you're going to have to carry me up to bed. Well, I see we're all ready for Celia. I have a glass of white wine. Uh, bartender, will you get the uh, champagne? We all come over here. Before Celia gets here, I want you to know that I've made up a list of precautionary measures. Oh, you must be kidding. I never kid when it comes to millions. But now listen, number one, no radio. Number two, TV is broken. Number three, cancel all newspapers. Number four, and most important, keep her away from Scorpio, Jimmy Lee, and Tolliver, and anyone else who has any knowledge of the Baldwin murder. That doesn't sound too difficult. Oh, really? Well, what about tonight? 
I mean, Scorpio is definitely going to be here. Well, you even said that Crane might show up. And our guest of honor. I mean, Jimmy Lee may have just called this party for the one reason, and that is to spill everything in front of the Don't be ridiculous. We're throwing this party to ensure his silence. That was part of the deal. Yes, but he could be double-crossing us. Oh, not Jimmy Lee. Oh, Lila's right. I mean, if there's anything that boy has, it's... Uh... You're not going to say integrity. I was going to say brains. I mean, to be a pretty stupid man to try and double-cross me in this last hour. You sound like you're ready to do something drastic if you did. Oh, 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 if he pushes me, we'll see. All right, come on, darling. Uh, let's go out and sample the champagne. You keep an eye on things. Well, it's a shame. What? That the only gun that we have in this house happens to be in the police station. I mean, if Edward really wants to do away with Jimmy Lee, he's just going to have to use his hands. Problems with the car. Well, more than a few, we had to take a cab. Yeah, well, my car was marooned in a two-foot flash flood in front of the courthouse. He left it for five minutes, and it just got swallowed up. Well, what were you doing at the courthouse? I bailed Scotty out of jail. You don't say. Well, the judge says he's no longer a suspect. Well, that makes two now. Let's see, how many are left? Is it five? Or four? Four? Monica. And I just hope this storm clears up before we uh, have to leave. I hope a lot of things have cleared up before you have to leave. Well, we shall see. Well, the house looks beautiful, Lila. Yes, oh, thank you, Gail. I hope you enjoy yourself. Oh, we will. We will, won't we, darling? Uh, Good to see you, dear. Thank you, dear. Well, here they are. I see you beat us here again. I left early. No telling what might happen with all the rain coming down. Join us for a drink. I could be persuaded very easily. How about two white wines, please? Would you make mine red? I need something to warm up my bones. Well, they've certainly fixed the place up tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know when I've seen it look lovelier. Still, I wish someone would tell me what the occasion is. Do you want to know, Leslie? Well, I heard some sort of surprise. Well, I certainly hope it didn't. Uh, a black. <laughs> you like that? That is oh, gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I bought it at Del Fina. Just for the party. <laughs> oh, well, it's beautiful. Let's go, dear. Have fun. Right, you. Can I get a drink now, Lala? In a minute, dear. We're still waiting for our guest of honor. <laughs> Oh, here he is now. Welcome. Hello, Mrs. Hello, Jimmy. Hey, Monica Allen. All lined up like good little soldiers. Well, we're glad you could finally make it. Yes, we're beginning to get worried about you. Oh, worried that I got hurt in an accident? No such luck. I came with a couple of uh, my best buddies. Folks, I want you to meet uh, Red and Slim. Oh, we're glad you could join us. Hello. Hello. You weren't kidding, Jimmy Lee. This is one heck of a hacienda. Yeah, you haven't seen nothing yet. And would you like to see the rest of the house? Edward, darling, you look really great. And your disposition seems to have improved. You know, I, I wouldn't have thought that was possible. Anything for appearances, they say. Appearances are one thing. But when the real time comes, I want to hear some real sincerity. You will. I know. Come on, folks. Let's, uh... See the rest of the house. Maggie, let's go. Come along, follow me, dearie. I'll get you a drink. Sweet. Where'd he find those roughnecks? I don't know. Tonight he can bring whoever he wants. Just tonight. This is the most humiliating night of my life. I have a feeling it's going to get a lot worse. Uh, smile, Edward. We have more guests. Hi.